Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and I'm continuing my journey through Quads on Parade, um, which is a pack that I'm really happy has been happening as well as it has. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is apparently a slightly harder puzzle. I'm really looking forward to exploring it. The Moat in Quad's Eye by Jeremy Dover. Um, as always, I'm recording these and then we will put them into difficulty order. So I do not know what came before and I do not know what came next. What I do know I'm about to do is explain the rules. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Am I losing a tooth? Maybe. Quadruples. I should edit that out, but in my journey. Quadruples. Digits in a quadruple circle must be placed at least once in the four cells touching that circle. So we know around this quadruple, there will be a one and a three. Around this quadruple, there will be two, five, six, and nine. Um, that's the way they're going to work. Um, then we've got more odd than even cages or moat cages. In each cage, the number of odd digits is strictly greater than the number of even digits. So they cannot even be the same. There must be more odd than even digits. Okay, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. This is a two cell cage. If this wasn't both odd, then I would have a problem because even if it was one and one, then there's not strictly more odd. And if it was both even, then we've definitely broken. So I'm going to color those as odd. I use yellow for odd. Now, there must be three odd digits in this cage and there's two um, odd here. So I know that five, seven, and nine are in this cage. In fact, I know three is up here because of the quadruple logic, which states that three is the three in row two and three, or the both threes in row two and three are consumed by those quads. Similarly, five is in those, five is in those, and three is in those. So I could, yeah, I can never put three in these cages, which makes sense because of the quadruples. So... In this cage, I have to put, right, I have to put three odd digits in this cage, and they have to be one, three, and nine. I have to put three odd digits in this cage, they have to be one, seven, and nine. Right, I need to put a nine in every one of these cages. I can never put a nine in a corner. but I have to put a nine in every one of these cages because there has to be three odds in here and the three odds are not one or three. I have to put three odds in here. Otherwise I haven't got more odds than even in the cage. And I know that three and five aren't in there. So they're one, seven, nine down here. They're one, three and nine. And down here, they're one, seven and nine. If I was to put a nine in a corner, any corner, pick any corner, it doesn't matter, then the nine here would go in those, the nine here would go in those, and now I cannot put a nine in this cage. It doesn't work. So, nine is always in these cells. Now, that's fine. This cage must have at least three odd digits in it maybe more. These are both odd. Now, one thing is one doesn't go in this cage. So I could put one in that corner, one there and one there, and I've got freedom to place one. So, and the same, no, seven. I need to put seven in every cage. I need to put seven in every cage because there's no seven in the, oh no, there is, there's a seven down here. I don't need to put seven in every cage, but I never, hmm. do I, okay. Three must be in here. So three is in here. 
because three around this quadruple is here. Five is in here, so five around this quadruple is here. But I have to put three odds in here. So one, seven, and nine are in this cage. Because if I don't put three odds in this cage, I will have more even than odd. So one, seven, and nine are in that cage. I also have to put three odds in this cage and three odds in that cage. Maybe more, but at least three. This was cool, by the way. I like this three and five, forcing one, seven, and nine to be in there. But could I put one here, one in one of those two, and then up here? Maybe, because these are one, three, four, and eight. Well, I can't, three is down here now, because three here being put three here. Five here means five's not here, and five's here. If five is here, five is in here. Three here puts three here. I feel I'm all over the place on this puzzle. So one of these is odd and one of these is even. So there's a two in here. Three of these are odd, but I've got all of the odd digits. One odd here, three odds here, and one odd here. So the two, this is a two, three pair because there's only one odd available and these are both odd. And they are five and nine. Can I do the same trick here? Yes, I have to put an even digit on here and the only one available. This is five, eight. And these are both odd. And... They are three and nine. So there's no nine in either of those, and there's no nine in either of those. The five is in one of those two, which means the five in this cage is in one of those. The nine, no, but the three is in one of those two, so the three in this cage is in one of those. This is fascinating. Now, I have to put at least one more odd digit in here, which has to be one, five, or seven. It can't be seven, because the seven is up here. So there's either a one here, a five here, or potentially both. If that's seven, which would put seven down here, that seems okay. But, can I make, three is down here. So, I think it's going to be these quads I need to investigate and figure out what's going on. But I'm not sure. I know two is here and two is here, so I can never put two in any of those. So two is in one of those three cells. Eight is here. I can put an even digit in there. Do I need to put an even digit? No, I can't put eight here. This is three eight because this is five eight. This is three eight, which means this is one four. And there's no one here. Oh, that's cool. And the two here means the two can't go here. This is two five. And this is six, nine. And this in the middle is a seven, which last time I checked, seven is odd. Which puts seven in one of those two and seven down here with the two. This box is stunning. And one and four are the even digits in that cage, which I kind of knew when I got these, but sort of. 
but the five is looking up making that the two and that the five so this is even and this is odd the two three is looking down making that the eight and that the three so this is even and this is odd now there has to be at least three odd digits in here otherwise i wouldn't have more odds than even the five is saying that's not the five three is three can't be there because of the quads that's a three which is odd because of the threes looking up can i do the same with fives yeah the five is looking down that's not the five that's the five which is odd but i have to have three odds in here so one one seven and nine are all in here and both of those are even so these are from two four six the two is looking down saying that's not the two the two is looking down saying that's not the two this is a four six pair and this is one two seven nine nine is in one of those two because nine can't go here and nine has to be in the cages in these boxes So if 9 is here, 9 is here, 9 is here, 9 is here. 9 can never be here now. Because if 9 was here, 9 would be here, 9 would be here, and I never put a 9 in either of those two cells. And if 9 was here, 9 would go here, here, and I could never put 9 in row 7 again. So 9 can never go in those two cells. 9 in row 8 now has to go in one of those two, and neither of those are a 9. Nine is in one of these three cells. Oh, the six nine makes that the five and that the nine, which makes that the three and that the nine. Does the one four do anything? Means one and four are in here. I do need another odd digit in here. It can't be five, seven or nine. So there's a one or a three in here. I haven't figured that out yet. There's another odd in here. It, it has to be one or five, but I've already covered that. It can't be one anymore. I can't put one, three, seven, or nine in there. It has to be a five, and I can't put a five there because of the pointing quads. That's a five, which is odd. And this has to be even because it sees one, three, five, seven, and nine. That is even. That is very, very cool. That five makes that the eight and that the five. So this is even and this is odd. The three, of course, made this two and this three. Again, you may say, oh, you missed this. I just hadn't got to it yet. This is now a two seven pair and this is odd. So that's the seven, that's the two, which is even. If I'm exploring other things and not completely stuck, I don't consider myself as having missed something yet. One four means this is six or eight. I do need to put a one in one of those. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, four, and eight. Haven't figured that out yet. Eight is in one of those two by Sudoku. Okay. This has to be three or five. That's been that. Oh, and the five makes that the three because the other three odd digits are in here. So the only odd digits available for this are three and five and the five is looking over making that the three. The pointing five here says that's not the five. This is also not the five and I put five in the corner. Okay, five being in one of those two is fine. Because the five here is lining up with one of those is a five and one of those is a five. That's all good. Three is now in one of those two, which is lining up with those. These two threes are taking threes out of those cells. This becomes the three, which is 
odd. So these, no, this eight makes this the six. And these are one, four, eight. But this is a pair now, which is a two, seven pair. One, two, three, four, five. There is a six in one of those two. Okay. So one, seven and nine must go into there. One, three and nine must go into there. One, seven and nine must go into there. If this is a nine, that would be a nine. That would be a nine. Oh, that would work. Okay, I can do some elimination. This two removes two from there. So this is a one or a seven, which means it's odd. This is one, seven, nine, which means it's odd. There must be an, yeah, the only even digit available for here is two, which is fine. Nine, the six, nine quad here, that could never have been a nine. That's the nine, which means that's not the nine. That's the nine, which means those aren't the nine. That's the nine, which means that's not the nine. One of those is a nine, but that's not a nine either. And I select these nines and I mark them as odd. Six means six is in one of those two. So that's an even digit in here, which means six is in one of those two because of Sudoku. Now, the reason... I'm not putting it here. Why am I not putting it there? I don't know. I do need to put a, I do need to put two even digits in here. So six could be in that cage. So don't be stupid, Bremster. Seven is in one of those two. So seven, which I knew had to be in this cage, is now in one of those three. Um Seven is now down here. Right, so now the sevens are lining up. Seven has to go in this cage. So I can't put seven in here. I can't put seven in here. Seven has to go in the quad and it's not there. That's the seven. That's, wow. I know I constantly feel look like I'm blown away by these puzzles, but that's because I'm constantly blown away by these puzzles. Three takes three out of here, but three and six have to go down here. Six because of the quad not being able to be there. And three by Sudoku. Three goes there. Yep, yeah, this is three, six pair. That's really nice. Can I do anything with it? I know a five is in one of those, but I... Hmm. So what can these be? One, two. They can't be three. They could be four. They can't be five, six, seven... So these are only one, two, four, and eight because they can't be seven or nine. So this can't be two. So this is one, four, or, and it can't be eight. This is one or four. This, I think, can be any of them. Okay. I do need to put two even digits in this cage, but I don't know which. Now, I do need to put a, a seven in this cage. If I put a seven here, there's a seven here, and that would work. If I put a seven here, there's a seven here, a seven here, that works too. Oh, there's no seven in either of those because of that seven. So the seven is in one of those two. The seven is now up here. I loved these quads, by the way. These were absolutely stunning. Haven't quite figured out how to use them, but I love them. I've probably lost track of my odd even counts. One of those is absolutely a one. And I don't think it can be that one. Because I have to put a one in this cage. I 
have to put a one in this cage because I need to put three odd digits in this cage and I can't use five and seven. If that's a one, one goes into those by Sudoku and then one would have to go up here, but then I'd have three odd digits in those cells and I'd only have two odd digits for this cage. That's not the one. That's the one. That's, this is, this stuff is mind blowing. The one takes one out of there. This is even. One is in one of those two. So there's a four or an eight in there. One and seven are both in here. That lines up with that, that's fine. What are these? I need to put a five in one of those two cells. So this is even. And it's two, four or six because the five that's left over in this row goes in one of those two cells. I can't put it there because of the five looking down. Basically, that cell sees one, three, five, seven, and nine. So that had to be even, and it couldn't be eight. One of these is two, four, or six. That one couldn't be six. Yeah. Okay. There's two even digits in here. There's two even digits in here. Um, I'm not spending enough time counting evens. Is that my problem? I don't know. One of these is one or nine. So I know both of those can't be odd. Hang on, there's an odd down here. Could I make both of those even? I was wondering w whether I needed to make both of those even. And I don't think I do. I think this could be four, six. Well, I can't put nine up here or seven, but I could make that one eight, I think, or six, two, nine, that would work. This is even because one, seven and nine are in the cage. Five is here. Yeah, this sees all of the digits. This is even, and it's not two. So this is four, six, or eight. That's not been a huge help, has it? Is it the one? I am feeling very stuck. Made some amazing progress, and now I am feeling stuck. I have to put a five in this car. That can't be, it could be one. I need to put, no, okay. I need to put one in this cage because the odd digits that aren't, that are in the cage are one, seven and nine, but I can't put one in any of those. One is in one of those two. I, so now that sees one, three, five, seven, and nine. That is even. And it's four, six, or eight. 
Did that do anything? Means one is in one of those. I don't think that's helpful. Three is in this cage and is looking, right, that's it. Three has, to, no, three is not in this cage. One, seven, and nine are in this cage. And I've got the nine and I don't know about, hang on, that digit is there. Where is this digit in this cage? That digit is a one or a seven. I have to put a one and a seven in this cage. That has to be that one or seven because that digit has to go in this cage somewhere and I can't repeat it in the row. That is a one or a seven and therefore an odd digit. Those are the same digit. And there is another. So there must be another one or seven in this row. Because one, seven and nine are in this cage. If that's a seven, there's a one down here and that's a seven. If that's a seven, sorry, if that's a seven, there's a one down here and that's a seven. If that's a one, there's a seven down here and that's a one. Either way, that can't be a one or a seven. That's a two. And that's not a two. And that is an odd digit. And there's two even digits down here from four, six, eight. But there must be two even digits down here because, right, there mu this is mind blowing. There must be two even digits down here because there's two even digits in here. I can only put three odd digits in the cage because there's two odd digits not in the cage. So there's two even digits down here. One, two, three, four. That can't be even. That's a three. That's a six. Which means that's the four and that's the six. Which means that's the one and that's the four. The six means that's the nine and that's the six. That's not a six or a four, that's the eight. And that is a one or a nine, which we definitely know is odd. And it can't be a nine because of the, why did I have no, because nine in this column has to be over here. That's the one, that's the nine, and there's no nine here. This is a one seven. That one seven is insane. That may have been able to be used somewhere else, but it's beautiful. There must be an even in here because I can only put one even in here. Right, these are the even. These are four, seven, eight, nine. Because I have to put an even in here with the two odd digits. So this is four, seven, eight, nine. So it's the four, eight, that's not that one, and seven and nine, and there's no nine there. And there is a one and the other odd digit. I could have just got that by Sudoku. That, okay. I'm not always the cleverest person. So. Four is in one of those two. Two is up here with five. Eight is in one of those. There must be a six in here for the row, so that's not a six. So this is four, six, eight, one, seven. Can I repeat that trick? Like I've got four odds. I'm not sure I can, you know. Because this cage is what was doing that work. But I know what this triple, I know what that digit is. One, two, three, that's a four. So these are six, seven, and nine. There's no nine at the top.
So this is six or seven. Seven has to go in this cage. If that's a seven, there's a seven there. <sighs> okay, I'm not singing at this puzzle. I'm, I'm not doing stunningly well, but I'm trying my best. I really am. You'll have to believe me on that. So these are two, four, and five. One is in one of those two. There has to be a third odd in here. One is definitely in there. There's no one there. That's the one. Because there has to be a third odd in that cage. So this is even. This is a four, eight. The one in here... I... This is a four, six, eight triple now. And there's a four, eight pair. So that's the six. So there's no six up here. That six is, there's no six here. Seven, nine is odd. But that four takes four out of there. Not quite enough. There's no eight there. So what is this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are one, two, and five. Now I can't put five up here because five is around the quadruple. That can't be one. The one, seven pair looking across and there's a one in the box. So this is two or five. One is, one can't be there because of that. That's not a one, that's the one. And seven, nine is here. So they're all the odd digits. This is an even digit. It's not six or eight. This is two or four. So six is not... Six is in one of those two. I know three... Oh, one is down here now. Ah, I'm still struggling, and I'm aware I'm still struggling. And it's not fun to watch, probably. What can that be? It's either five or even. So it's two, two, four, eight, or five. So these are all two, four, five, eight. So this is two, five, or eight. I can't put four there. Still missing something. These are four, six, eight. These are now just even. That's the one. One is down here. One is here. That's fine. If that's the one, one is here, one is here, one is here. And that seems fine. Now there must be an even digit on this. It must this is from 148. It has to be because I have to put an even digit on it because I've only got, I don't have an odd digit available. The 7 is in the cage, the 3 is here. So this is from 148 giving me 148 here. And this is from 348. No, that can't be right. This is 3 and an even digit. So it's three, I can't be four. So it's two, six, eight. That's not as helpful, is it? That can't be six. Why have I said that can't be six? That can be six. Seven is in this cage somewhere and I can't follow it. Seven, seven, Seven. 
No, that all works. Okay. So there's two, there's a four or an eight in here. With one or seven. Sorry, I'm just trying to see. I've got the six, nine, the five goes in one of those. Three and five go in here, which is why this is one, seven, nine. The five is in one of those two, which lines up with everything and those. That's all fine. It almost feels like there's a missing clue. which has happened while I've been doing these. And it's been completely my fault. Where's two in column one? Can't put two in any of those. Can't put two in any of those. Can't put two there. That's a two which takes two out of those and makes that a five and takes two out of there. Also takes five out of there. Five looks down making that two, taking two out of those. So that's a two, that's a five. The two now means, where is two in this column? That's the two. This is four, six or seven. Seven is in one of those two. Five. Did that not do more? Puts two in one of those two. I got that five, which doesn't seem to have done anything. This is definitely one where I think it's the Sudoku that's messing me up again. When it's quadruple logic, I do quite well. <laughs> when it's Sudoku logic, there's a seven in one of those two. I absolutely know that, but I can't see how to use it. There's an even in one of those, and there's an even in one of those. This is even. One, two, three. One of those is even, but it has to be. If that's even, that's odd. That's all fine. But these could both be odd, and that be even. That would also be fine. Man, I am not seven, 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 seven. That all works. I don't see it. Oh. It's this quadruple. There has to be an eight around that quadruple. That's the eight people have been yelling for ages. This is four, seven, nine. That's the eight, which looks down making that the five and that the four, which makes that the eight. It's been there forever, which makes that the two. This is the five, which is odd. There's no five there. 
the two makes that the seven and that the two. That's not, that's odd. That's even. But the seven looks up saying that's not the seven. So that's the seven. Bam. That's the one. That's the seven. That's the one. These are four, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, and eight go in to those. The eight comes out of those. This is a four, six. So this is one, eight. The one is looking up, making that the eight and that the one. So we've got even and odd. That's not the one. So that's the one, which is odd. The seven looks across, making that the nine, which makes this not nine. But the nine says this is now a four, which makes that the seven and that the nine. These are both odd. That is even, even. The four makes this the eight, which is even. Got to be in the right mode for all of this. The three, six makes that the four, which is even. The three, six makes that the seven and that the six. The seven is mode changing can be tricky. Um, the three, six. Um, the eight looks down, making that the three and that the eight. It was that simple. It was right there, and I just missed it for way too long. This is the six. This is the three. That makes this the four and this the six. So it was right there. The six and the seven look down, making that the four, which is even. Uh, this is going to be the odd digit. This will be the even digit. This is the seven. This is the six. 40 minutes, 13 seconds. I missed the eight. I missed the resolution of that four, eight. That was the whole thing that was holding me up. Hopefully you spotted that a lot faster than I did. Beautiful puzzle. Absolutely stunning. Thank you, Jeremy. I'm sorry I missed this quad. I was checking all the quads and for some reason I missed that. Blind spots happen. Um, this happens to all solvers. Um, people with a slight visual disability more than others, I expect. But um, yeah, that's not an excuse. It's just what happened. But I had a lot of fun exploring the odd even. And I loved these quadruples. The way these quadruples worked to give you all of these pairs, that was stroke of genius. The, the break in with these quads... And then the way these worked and the way this forced um, the the nine and, and the way this and then this to resolve it all. And I missed that completely. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the pack. And as always, good luck with your solving.